I don't know any other mark that has the international following that the Porsche mark does. Porsche people are special people. We're in North Essex, we're about 52 miles northeast of London in East Anglia. Our particular skill set is really about preservation and perfection of what's already there. We've restored Group C cars and run them successfully. We do a lot of prototypes, really early Gamund 356s. We've done a few 550s, RS60s, lots of 356 race cars, lots of 911 race cars from build to preparation to support. We've got rather a lot of restoration, but it's tended to be the more exotic cars. Very proud to say we've worked on some of the greatest Porsche racing cars. There's never a day when we don't start learning something, looking at things that compel us to look at a different way, to be innovative, not to destroy history, but to make it function again reliably. That is what still motivates me to get out of bed in the morning. With the help of my grandfather, who was a big influence in my life, I ended up doing a mechanical engineering apprenticeship at a very large factory. So you could be working on anything from compressors that were too big to fit in this building, boilers. It was a great, great grounding. In maintaining machines like that, you are really forced to understand them, to really have an empathy with how they work. Most of all, it taught me how to approach something. To be passionate about engineering, you have to have some empathy. And engineering, actually, when you boil it down, it's quite logical and it's innovative. Got a job with Elf Oil, which was doubly interesting, and you know, working with the teams that we supported, including Lotus Camel Honda and Ayrton Senna, Derek Warwick, Mansell at Williams. And I'll never forget the first time I'd ever been to a Grand Prix. Then, all of a sudden, this god-awful noise starts. down the straight and I see a car coming towards me at speed and it just goes Doom! and there's massive flames and explosion. Nothing had prepared me for the noise, the violence, the drama. I was just hooked. By then I was working for Ford Motor Company, joined the Porsche Club and did some research, built my own car, went out, did very well at some events. People saw it, like what they saw, people then say, oh, would you do that for me? Could you build that? Could you build it? I didn't know what I was going to do. I was going to take a sabbatical, take stock, decide where I was going. I suppose it was destiny to think, well, you've already got this company, you're selling the parts, you're doing this part-time, why don't you see if you can make this into a living? That's literally the humble beginnings it all started with. You go to events and you're working on a car or helping and someone pitches up and says, oh my God, my engine's broken. You end up helping, stripping it down and get them into the race and then you make friends and it snowballs from there. I started my business with a pound in my pocket, my back against the wall, and I went forward. And one of the things that kept me involved from an early time was the people that I was introduced to, that I met, that became friends. The Porsche community is pretty damn unique, and it actually is about the people and it's a family.